Hi everyone, this is Lori here from Lori Hooks. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me today. So today's video I am really excited to share with you guys. Um, so recently, Rebecca over at Yarn and Pajamas. Hi Rebecca. She contacted me and asked me if I'd like to do a collaboration this year. And I said, of course, I would love to do a collaboration with you this year. So, Rebecca, she is the girl with all the ideas. She suggested that we do wreaths for the seasons, which I thought was perfect. I've never made a wreath before, and I love making new things. So, today I'm here to introduce to you Hooked on Wreaths. And this is the collaboration that I'm doing with Rebecca over at Yarn and Pajamas, as I mentioned before. So tag below. There will be uh, Rebecca's channel. There will be a playlist for our collaboration for the year, as well as I'm going to also tag Rebecca's introductory video that she is also going to be releasing today. Um, so today is February 20th. The first day of spring this year is March 20th, which is four weeks from now. So today we are going to introduce our spring wreaths. And then on March 20th will be the finale where we show our final wreaths. There will be a progress video also two weeks from now. So I am so excited to do this with Rebecca and I'm so excited to share with you all. So, um, spring wreaths. So, I got on the internet, got on Google, got on Ravelry, Etsy, Pinterest, all these different places and took a look at different wreaths and I kept gravitating back to, excuse me, gravitating back to this one which is the Repeat Crafter Me Crochet Spring Wreath. Um, I like this one because it is colorful. It has a bee on it, which bees just spring, screams, oh, da, 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 scream spring to me. And so I thought that it was perfect. I just, I couldn't let this one go. So this is the one that I chose. So I'm going to try to leave this picture up here while I talk about my materials and hopefully I don't get in the way. So first of all, I needed a wreath. So I got this wreath from Michaels. This one is 11.7 inches. And if you follow Rebecca and you've been following her for a bit, you know that um, she had a problem last year where she made a wreath and then she accidentally dropped it and the thing smashed so I was kind of worried about the same thing I did look for wreaths at my local Dollarama as well as my Dollar Tree I'm here in Canada um, the wreaths they had there they were all too small they weren't appropriate so um, went to Michaels and I found this one and then after her horror story of her wreath breaking I accidentally threw the wreath down the aisle to make sure that it stayed in one piece and it is still in one piece. So this is the wreath that I got. So next I need yarn to cover the wreath. And so I got this Loops and Threads Impeccable in the color Fern. And this is a four weight yarn and I thought that it would be perfect to go around the outside of the wreath. So everything else that I've chosen is from my stash and everything else, actually there's one more thing. Well, everything's from this stash and this one is the hanger. So this is just some random pink four weight I had in my stash. I think that this is Craft Smart from Michaels. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is. So it's a random pink for the hanger. Now, everything else that I'm going to use is DK. So this pattern does call for four weight yarn, um, but in my stash, I have lots of DK in bright, pretty colors. So I thought that's what I would use for everything else. So, and one of my skeins rolled away. So just a minute. 
Sorry about that, one of these rolled away on me. So, next we need a B. So these are the colors I'm going to use for the B. So this yellow is some Sheepies Color Crafter. And this is the color Gouda. The white is also Sheepies Color Crafter and the color on this is Barnaveiled. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that but that's what I'm going to call it. And then we need a black, which I have this Joy DK in the color ink from Loops and Threads. This one is new, but I did have it in my stash. I don't even remember what I bought it for, but I never used it. So that's the B. So the next thing, there's all those flowers around the bottom, and I need a whole bunch of different colors for that. So I had made a rainbow blanket which I recently finished so I have a whole bunch of colors left from it as well as um, <clears throat> I did a rainbow um, mosaic last year well not last year the year before before I had a channel for um, a friend who was having a rainbow baby so I have a bunch left from that as well but they're all DK so a lot of these are sheepies color crafter this one is sheepies color crafter and the color on it is Pendulo. Pendulo. I have a bright yellow, which is Leerdam. I have this Stylecraft Special DK in the color Turquoise. This pink, also Stylecraft, and the color on this is Fondant. And sorry, they're all behind me on my chair. This peachy color which is Leek. That one is Sheepy's Color Crafter. This red which is Maastricht. Maastricht. And there should be one more here. Oh, this little tiny guy. This, this greeny color. Um, and this one's Stylecraft Special DK, and the label is in there, but I can't read it right now because it's all wrapped around it. Actually, I can. This is Aspen. I thought the label was inside. Okay, Aspen. So there are the colors for the flowers. Try to show them all to you at once. I'm not doing a very good job. These skeins are getting pretty floppy. So that is the flowers. So then what I don't have showing to you are, you can see that all the flowers have buttons for their centers. I haven't decided if I'm going to use buttons um, or if I'm going to crochet centers that are in white or what I'm going to do. I need to make a flower and then decide. The other thing is because I'm not using the recommended weight, I suspect that the button needs to be a different size, so I didn't buy the buttons. Um, I don't, I have some white buttons in my stash, but probably not very many. And a lot of them aren't actually white. They're like that, you know, clearish off white looking ones. So I don't think they would work. So I'll have to decide if I'm going to buy buttons. I guess we're going to find that out in the progress video. That's going to come out in a couple weeks. Um, what else do I need for it still? Oh, leaves. I didn't have a green that I thought was appropriate for the leaves. So I'll have to decide if I'm going to buy something or if I'm just not going to do the leaves at all. At this point, I'm not going to do the leaves at all. We will see how it comes along once it's going and see whether or not I think that I need leaves. So that is my spring wreath. So I want to say thank you to Rebecca over at Yarn and Pajamas for asking me to do this collaboration. It is so exciting. It's going to be so much fun. Um, I'm so excited for you guys to see the wreath that she chose. So please go check out her video. Um, and I hope that you come back in a couple weeks to check out our progress videos on our wreaths. And I'd also like to say that if you decide that you want to make a wreath or if you have made a crochet wreath in the past and you would like to us to share your wreaths, a picture of your wreath on our channels, feel free to share your wreath with me before March 20th. 
Um, my email is in the description box below and I will be glad to share a picture as well as the pattern if you used a pattern at all for the wreath that you made and I think that would be a lot of fun to see yours as well. So um, I think that's it for today. That is the Hooked on Reese Collaboration Spring Edition. It's going to be so much fun. And I see you next time on Lori Hooks. Bye, everyone.